view of what I was just explained in the last one, so I'll give you a couple more examples. So this is part is just explaining right here. It's just explaining when you use the O and the E or the U or the E. So this O and A, if you remember, is the back vowels so and the front vowel. And they're talking about neutral vowels again right here. So, like I said before, a neutral vowel will just basically become a clone or just act like whatever was, whatever else is in that word. So you see here's a front vowel, so we're going to say this is a front vowel instead of a back vowel. So we would use ear, uh, and like I said, usually just go with an eh. Uh, so use the E in that one. So I'll give you a couple more examples. I'll show you. Um, we can use ashet, and we can use okosh or orvosh. I do orvosh. So this means chance. This means doctor. So we look at this. And we see e's, and if you look from the last chart, we'll see that e's are going to use this right here, the e and the uh, the e and the uh, Sorry. So, like I said, we need to use the E, eh, and then we just add the K, and that becomes chances. Orvos, we see is back vowels, so we go up to here, and we use the O, because mostly we use the O, not the A. We have Orvoshok, which means doctors. Let's see that. So, oops. Okay. Um... Here's the next weird part, right here. Hungarians pluralize their adjectives. So I've explained that one a lot in the next part. But basically, they will say happies or sads, and they use that with the way I was talking about before, Vajtok, which is you all, or with Vajunk, which means we are. So next slide, I'll explain more about that.